creating stars. There are many ways to create stars for this particular purpose. I'm going to cut a stencil using acetate. I drew freehanded some stars onto the stencil that's going to become the pattern for making the stars on the wall or the ceiling. And I will cut the last two stars out. It takes a little practice. Sometimes you get a shape that isn't quite a star. We have our stencil and the application for this particular one is going to be with silver leaf. You could use gold leaf. You could also use glow-in-the-dark paint if, for instance, it's going on the ceiling of a room. I am going to be using some gold leaf. I have silver leaf here. I'm going to go and fetch the gold. And a little bit of size. There's oil base and water base size. I happen to have oil base with me and not any water base. So today it will be with oil base, which takes longer to dry and isn't really critical for the stars, but in um, other applications it could be. It gives you longer time to apply the leaf before the size, which is glue, dries. I put it on the brush and then get a lot of offload it and then stencil directly onto the star. Being careful not to shift your stencil. And you'll be able to see the star shapes are there because they're, they're shinier than the existing color that I have on this sample. We've applied size to the surface, or if you had wanted to use paint, you could have used paint using the same stencil. I'm just going to take a little tiny bit and stick it on each one of those gold the sized area for the gold leaf. Just stick it on. If you had a night sky, a dark blue sky, silver leaf would be absolutely beautiful. If you just painted a sky on a ceiling, you could paint the stars with glow-in-the-dark paint, and then you would only see them at night. It's a lot of fun. If you're working overhead, which most cases you are painting stars, your neck is going to be sore, so break it up into a few days if it's a large area, or get somebody to help you. So we've applied the leaf, and now I'm going to simply rub it off, and it hopefully will stay where it's supposed to stay and not go where it's not supposed to go. Sometimes using the stencil, the um, size or the paint will go underneath the stencil. And in this case here, it has happened. And also here, I can take, since I used oil base, a little thinner and just gently wipe that away and it would rectify it. But you can look at the ones that worked nicely.